Hey YouTubers, it's Hajra. Today we're going to be doing a little gouache piece. This is going to be another study of an old master's piece, and in this case we're going to be using Maxfield Parrish and his Golden Age illustration, The City of Brass. We'll start with a pencil drawing, and of course make sure you do like just the minimal outlines. I always find that even I do more pencil than I end up using, so do try to minimize it. Because I'll be using the midtone method, I'm going to go back and stain all the large areas with the local color and this will help me understand and break apart the picture. You only see the base layer of local color stains here. While the camera was off, I also added dark shadow stain colors on top of the local color stain. This multicolor staining is not necessary, but it helps map out all the color shapes before thicker paint comes in over it. Once I'm done with that, it's time to add thicker gouache layers. So first off, I'm going to add more white around the brass castle and city, so it looks like it's emerging out of the mist. This is easy, as I just have to add white gouache or light purple gouache. The paint should be a liquid creamy consistency. Remember, you don't have to slavishly copy your study. Add some original touches with color composition to make it more exciting and appealing to your own art style. I'm definitely not going to make my sky the famous parish blue, for example, as I prefer subdued misty tones for this mysterious painting. I've also made the whole city silhouette lighter to emphasize the effect of mystery or mirage. Now I'm going to add more yellow and orange to the city silhouette. It's called the City of Brass in the story after all, so I want it to look more golden hued. I also play around with the mist some more. Bob Ross used to say the mist was your best friend when rendering distant shapes with atmospheric perspective, and it was good advice. Maxfield Parrish's pieces had a xeroxy collage look to them as he traced or pasted photograph enlargements and painted over them in oil on his canvas. I don't like that tracing or collage technique or its resulting look in Maxfield Parrish's pieces. So of course I didn't trace or collage anything, but I'm diminishing the sort of cut out look of things with more mist in my own painting. Now it's time to liven up these mountains with darker and thicker gouache. They're a sort of orange with purple shadows. I'm just making the colors that are already there darker over the guiding stain. And I actually like how misty and pale the hills in front of the orange mountains look, so I'll leave them mostly alone. I'm going to lighten the tint of the plateau or cliff edge just so the foreground looks even darker in comparison. You can see this foreground has just been stained purple. There are no other colors here as it's just a dark silhouette of figures on horses and a rock face, so you didn't miss much when the camera was off earlier during the staining process. I should mention, the purple wasn't put on full strength. It was diluted enough that it won't lift much when I go over it now with green and white. The green and white are a great color contrast to the purple, and these two colors together, purple and green, usually make a successful shadow area. The figures on horses pick up just enough green with the purple to look dimensional even though they're so tiny. I'm using an angle brush to put down the rock texture. I'm trying to make sure any obvious brush edges are softened with the other round brush I'm using so the brushwork is not artificial looking. And just vary the texture with white, greenish white, and some purplish white until what you see looks and reads like an interesting rock face. I drop in a bit more yellow to the left of the city to balance out the right side of the clouds and then I'm done. Hope you enjoyed seeing a quick gouache piece of the City of Brass and that you learned a bit about layering thicker gouache paint over underlying thinner local color stains and gouache. See you next time and happy painting!